SpaceX is once again bracing itself for a critical launch of the long-anticipated Starship rocket. This launch arrives on the heels of a challenging period marked by a series of unfortunate events that disrupted their previous attempt. In the past, the company experienced setbacks that ranged from mechanical errors to inclement weather. However, this time, the challenges were much more substantial, including considerable damages to the launch pad, which not only caused significant delays, but also necessitated extensive repairs. Despite these challenges, SpaceX has managed to pull together. Among the commendable achievements is the implementation of the groundbreaking hot staging technique. The hot staging technique is a process used in multi-stage rocket vehicles where the upper stage engine starts while it is still attached to the lower stage, with the lower stage still firing. This innovative strategy is central to the process of separating the Starship during launch, a crucial step that has posed challenges to space missions in the past. This technique, commonly adopted in Russian launch vehicles such as the N-1 moon rocket, allows for a more efficient separation between stages. The modification process for SpaceX's Starship is currently in its final stage. The dedicated team at SpaceX has been working tirelessly around the clock, aiming to address and improve upon the issues that led to the unfortunate incident on April 20th. Most of their efforts are geared towards enhancing the performance of their reusable rocket. To make this hot staging technique possible, SpaceX is re-engineering the Super Heavy booster by incorporating additional vent holes and providing shielding. This would ensure the efficient exhaust of the upper stage. On another front, SpaceX has also made significant strides in the critical testing phase of the booster, which has reached its crucial final milestones. The booster, a key component of the Starship, is responsible for providing the initial force to lift the rocket from the ground. It has undergone a rigorous series of tests, with each iteration scrutinized to ensure its functionality and safety. The testing phase involved numerous trials, including static fire tests where the booster's engines are ignited while the vehicle is still on the ground. These tests provided data on engine performance and allowed SpaceX to make adjustments as necessary. So here's an exciting piece of news. SpaceX has been fueling Booster 9 and Booster 10, two super-heavy first stages of the phenomenal Starship. The team carried out a propellant load test both at SpaceX's Starbase site in South Texas and the nearby Massey's test facility. You won't believe the images they've shared. The stainless steel giants frosted over from the super-cold propellants liquid methane and liquid oxygen. It's a sight straight out of a sci-fi movie. While we don't have an exact timeline for these tests, it's likely they took place a few days after Booster 9 was moved to the orbital launch mount on July 20th. Even though the latest images of Booster 9's movement don't display the altered vent holes, it's quite likely that SpaceX intends to revert Booster 9 back to its build site once they're satisfied with its stability tests. Essentially, SpaceX wants to ensure that Booster 9 can stand strong under various conditions. Following this step, the vent hole modifications will be fully installed, enhancing the booster's functionality. Starship enthusiasts recently spotted the booster hot staging area at the Starbase site. This design marks a departure from what we've seen before. Although it uses less material, it offers more room. This new arrangement offers an exciting possibility. This is a significant change that will give the booster greater structural robustness. This new design, apart from being more space efficient, also boasts a superior shape. Think of it like the architecture of a building. The idea is to add a horizontal brace around the middle of the rocket. These additions would do two things. First, they would redirect the flow of gases. Second, they would increase the structural strength of the rocket, making it more robust and resilient, just like the pillars make a building strong. Each support is expected to have a triangular shape, like a slice of pie with the tip pointing towards the center of the rocket. When the rocket thrusts or pushes itself upwards, these triangular supports create a kind of or twisting effect. This isn't just for show. It helps distribute the forces acting on the rocket, which makes it safer and more efficient during its journey into space.
Starship's engine gives off a powerful and super hot exhaust, so if we cut slots in a thin cylinder it might become weak, just like a paper towel roll would if we cut lots of holes in it. So the design should work similarly, allowing the powerful exhaust to escape without causing a fuel mixture to build up within the rocket. While keeping things light is crucial, our design also needs to be tough. Given these challenges, the hot staging concept signifies a radical advancement in rocket design with the potential to revolutionize spaceflight. Unlike traditional staging where rockets are jettisoned and ignited sequentially, hot staging involves the ignition of the next stage's engines while still being attached to the previous stage. This enables a seamless transition between stages. The final hot stage assembly to be integrated with Booster 9 is a next-generation prototype conferring distinct advantages. A critical benefit of hot staging is the potential to significantly increase payload capacity. Musk was excited to describe the switch to hot staging, saying, there's a meaningful payload to orbit advantage with hot staging. That's conservatively about a 10% increase. By eliminating the need to carry additional hardware for stage separation and ignition, more space and weight can be allocated to cargoes, satellites, or crew. This enhances efficiency and cost-effectiveness for launching missions. Another merit of hot staging lies in its potential for rapid and frequent launches. Traditional staging necessitates time-consuming post-separation maneuvers and distance between stages to ensure safe ignition, which limits the frequency of launches. With hot staging, there's no interruption in thrust during the transition, enabling quicker turnaround times between missions and a higher launch cadence. However, the implementation of this hot staging technique comes with its own set of requirements. For successful implementation, SpaceX must ensure that the upper stage is adequately shielded from the exhaust gases of the lower stage's engines during ignition. This precaution is pivotal to prevent any damage to the upper stage during this critical phase of the launch. Presently, the hot staging structure is still undergoing preparation and installation. However, with SpaceX's innovative approach, this is a significant technical achievement that deserves high praise. Not only is SpaceX making significant strides in hot staging, but the company also continues to make remarkable progress in the development of its ambitious Starship project. This includes the recent advancements of Booster 9 and Booster 10. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.